Hello, Grey 8. Here, Mr. G, and we are going to make uh, the second video. This one is going to be related to atomic numbers and atomic mass. Okay, so let's start by defining or writing down the definition of atomic number. Now, atomic number is the number of protons in an atom. Remember, everything is made from atoms. Now, atoms have different particles. There will be another video related to uh, the different particles which make an atom, but in this one, we're going to focus on the atomic number. Okay. Now, the atomic number is going to be the number of protons in an atom. So, if you go to the periodic table, to any periodic table, you will always have certain block like this one here, which is the block that you are going to understand how the periodic table is being given to you. In this case, you can see that the atomic number is the number on top. So the atomic number is, in, in this case, is the numbers on top. So whatever the number is on top, that one will be the atomic number. Now, the periodic tables you will see here is the groups, remember? In the previous video, we saw groups and here is period. Okay, period 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And here is the group from 1 to 18. All right, now the atomic number is this number in each block. So if you go block by block of any of the elements, that one is going to be the atomic number. Now you can see that the atoms in the periodic table or the elements are arranged by increasing that number. In other words, the periodic table is organized using that number. So you can see the first element, element number one, that is the atomic number. If you go, for instance, to element number five, you go to the periodic table, you look for the element that is number five, and it, it, that one is the atomic number. So what does it mean? That boron, for instance, we are now with this element here. Boron have five protons. The atomic number is five, and therefore it has five protons. If you go to iron, which is here, you can see the atomic number is 26. That means that iron have 26 protons. All right, so is the number of protons. So, example. Let's see one example and let's look for the atomic number. Of potassium. Atomic number of potassium. All right, so you go into the periodic table. You look for potassium. You identify where is potassium. You can see potassium is here. Then the atomic number for potassium is 19. So the atomic number for potassium is 19. 19. What does it mean? Potassium has 19 protons. That is the meaning. So if you want to know how many protons does a potassium has, for instance, it is 19 protons. We can now revise the other thing. Eh? Potassium is going to be in group. Let's just revise about the groups. Potassium, you come here. Remember, for the group to go all the way up, we can see that potassium is in group number one. So potassium is in group one. In what period is potassium? In what period? Sorry. Is potassium so you are going to the periodic table period is the uh, rows on the on the side so you come here and is in period number four so potassium has 19 protons is in group one and is in period number for all these questions can be asked in the uh, in the question paper okay now what is important for for now for now we know that the number of protons is 19, so it's going to be the number of electrons. 
So the atomic number is going to give us the number of protons, but it's also going to give us the number of electrons. So that is for, for now. And in our case, it is not just like that, but the neutrons is also going to be 19. I said it's not like that because later on when you are in further grades, you will learn how to calculate the number of neutrons. But for now, we are going to take the same number for everything. So the atomic number here is going to give us the number of protons, the number of electrons, as well as the number of neutrons. All right. This is not exactly like that. You will learn about that more in, in, in coming upcoming grades. But for now, is just in this way okay so the atomic number by definition is the number of protons you have to say number number of protons in an atom and it's going to be in the periodic table it's going to be the number in which the periodic table is uh, organized always come to this block that you will have that will explain to you how to find out the atomic number and that is everything about atomic number for now Okay, this is going to be in the test, so please learn it. Uh, I will make another video related to drawing atoms. And if you don't know this one, then you won't be able to draw an atom. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you very much. And uh, I left the atomic mess. I will talk about atomic mess in upcoming videos as well. Okay, this video is only about atomic number. Thank you very much and uh, good luck.